everyone. Okay, so today what I'm going to do is give you an additional practice that aligns with the video that I did about three videos ago. I will put it in the link below, but it's the one that has the word guidance in it, um, in the title. Um, not the thumbnail, but the one in the title, where I give you the meditation. I walk you through a process. I don't do a guided meditation. I walk you through the process, okay, of a guided meditation that is incredibly powerful, all right? What it does is it Im helps you um, anchor in your light body and embody the highest frequency that you can attain at that time, okay? Repeatedly doing this, meaning I'm doing it every day, and I have to tell you, this has been probably one of the um, biggest up-levelings I've had because of doing this meditation every day. Now, the process I use, because again, it, you can create it as long, uh, I guess I'll just say you can use that, that meditation um, and string it out longer, you know what I mean, and spend more time on it. I do a 45 minute one. You don't have to do that. But I would say, very consciously, make a point of spending time with it, all right? Because what you're doing again is you're anchoring in your light body, all right? In these times, remember we're in these high energetic times and we're accelerating forward pretty quickly. And this is gonna help you, all right? So that video is the one you need to understand first, okay? And again, I'll put it in the link below. And then what I'm gonna give you today is an add on to this, but it builds off of that. In other words, doing that practice, um, I think I've done it for, gosh, at least two, three weeks now, I would say. And now I've added this practice, and I'm going to tell you, it has literally shifted everything. Many of you know my story since last July, where I will occasionally or often talk about the energetic experiences I've been through. All right. I'm a collective clearer, and that entails um, a, a real arduous journey physically for me and mentally. Um, that's kind of an aside to, obviously, the work that I'm doing every single day, but it's also part of my mission. My point in this is I have learned a number of practices that will assist everybody in this journey. Forget whether you're a collective clearer. That doesn't matter. This is going to help you more readily um, embody your highest frequency possible and continue to um, work through this journey of ascension. It is ascension. Okay, so you got the first video, all right, that I will tell you to, again, if you choose to use this, I would say do this every day, but not in a way that's like, oh, I have the energy, I have to get this done every day. No, just do it every day in the way that makes sense for you, okay? And then what you have now is a process to use that energy for others and for yourself, okay? Um, I'm going to walk through the practice. Again, you can make it your own, but it's super simple. They're just super simple. And what we are here to do is just embody that light. Know that that light is our strength. That divine source light is our strength in everything we do. Okay, so I'm going to use my journey as an example. Um, it doesn't mean that this is your journey, this is mine, but this is how it works for me and you're going to find it, I think, useful for you as you go out in the world and then also use this for your own healing. So, so I'm going to give you two processes that you can use, one which is very specific for yourself, the other is um, preparing yourself to go out into the world, okay? So what this practice does is it allows you to take in the divine source, frequency, light through your hands. What you're going to do, well, if, if, you, if you think back to that guided um, meditation process I gave you, we open up, my, I think I said this, we open up the hand chakras, okay? We open up the hand or the chakras in our palms, all right? If I didn't say that, that's something you can do in that guided meditation, but this process I'm going to give you does um, reference opening up your hand chakra. So I have to do is request that. What you're going to do, and I do this before first thing in the morning, um, regardless of what I'm going to be doing for the day and going out into the world, I put my palms up and I just stand there. Or you can sit. You can lie in your bed. But you want to be intentional about it. 
and then just flow that divine light in almost like you have two pillars coming into your palms and just let that sit and what I've noticed is I wait until I can feel the energy in your palms now not everybody's gonna be able to do that okay that's a process of I think continuing to work on being attuned to your energy body but just get a sense of when you feel that's you're filled up as such but I get a spinny feel, I get a, a pulsing feel in my palms, and then I know I'm ready. And then you can create your own saying, because what you're gonna do is you're gonna fill your palms up, you're gonna fill up with that light, those pillars of light, the divine source light, that frequency, that same that you brought in previously in the meditation. Again, you don't have to do this directly after that. This is in the morning is when I do it, okay? And then I do it at night as well. And then when you are ready, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and put a hand on heart. It doesn't matter which one. Again, you can use right or left. I'm right-handed, so I do this. And then I put my hand up like this. This is just me. This is how I do it, okay? I'm just like this, all right? I have my eyes closed. And then what I do is I'm sending that divine light out to all those I encounter in my day versus maybe taking in their energy, all right? So you're the lighthouse, right? You're the lighthouse, you're sending out light. And what I say, and you can use this if you want, but you can create your own, you'll get the gist of it. May the divine light, I'm reading it by the way, may the divine light of love and healing grace embody those I encounter today and feel, fill their hearts, minds, and souls. So what you're doing is rather than those of us who are very empathic, can run energy through our bodies. Mm -mm. No, what we're doing is we're giving that beautiful lighthouse energy out. It's coming from the inside out, all right? And what you're doing is you're offering that to them. Now, I do that, this is all of a few minutes practice. I do that until I can feel a really nice sensation of maybe a pulsing, maybe a just, you just know, you just have a knowing when you're done. And then I just do this, but that's me. Okay, you can do what you want. And then I move to my own space. Okay, you can't see this, but I'm, I'm on my, <laughs> my solar plexus and my heart. And then you're basically done. Now, what you could do before that is you could, would you bring that energy, divine energy in? You could go ahead and um, energize yourself. I have a little different practice in the morning, but you could do that first with your hand on your solar plexus and your hand on your heart, and then when you're ready, you feel filled up. You might even feel heat in your hands. I had that happen the other day. We'll just go ahead and put your hand up, and then you can give out the the energy to those you're going to encounter in the day. It takes all of a minute or two. All right, so what I'm gonna tell you is for me, it has been incredibly powerful. This has been an experiment over the last week. Now, there's a second piece of that. So what this does is this helps you send energy to them versus them coming and getting your energy and it running through your body, which we can end up feeling, feeling. Because as many of you know, this is what's been happening with me a lot in the middle of the night and throughout the day. So I've been finding my way through this to be able to um, more successfully, or I shall say very successfully, manage me being a collective clearer. You don't need to be a collective clearer to use this. That's not the point. This is great for everybody because what you're doing is with the guided meditation, you're going to go ahead and you're going to embody, or you're going to um, anchor in your light body and you're going to embody your highest frequency. And now you can use this process to send this out, right, to those you encounter during the course of the day. I do it at the end of the day, and I say the same thing, I do the same thing over again, and I proceed to change my words up a little bit, those that I have encountered today, right? And then we send that back to them, okay? We send that beautiful light back to them for their healing grace. So, the other part of this that I think is incredibly profound, I have, how do I wanna explain this? When I have those energetic events in the middle of the night, which I've had quite a few over the last week or two because I'm accelerating pretty quickly and understanding this, but I'm getting a lot of practice in figuring this out. And this is why I want to share this with you, is when these energetic events come in, they kind of take me over and I have uh, basically kind of a, a mini anxiety panic attack. 
they have um, lessened themselves dramatically, but it is energy I'm taking in. And I need to learn how to manage that so that my body and mind aren't affected. I can't live like this, right? I mean, we just can't. Well, this is amazing what happened the other day. And I will tell you my story. And then this is the second piece of this. So what, what happened to me the other night is it always happens where I wake up in the middle of the night and I start to feel it coming on. Okay, it's an energy that I'm having to clear. And... I get uh, difficulty breathing, I get anxiety, I can feel it coming on. Any of you have had panic attacks or anxiety attacks, it's similar, it's different, but it's similar, and it's an energy moving through me, right? So I went through my breath work, because I do have a bit of a process, but what I want to be able to do is not have that happen, all right? To be able to know that there are things I can do that will process that energy without my body and mind being impacted. All right, because it's not a great way to live as a human. And there is a way. So what I will tell you is you can use this for any, doesn't have to be processing collective energy. Remember that. It could be you're feeling anxious, you're feeling off, you're feeling um, stressed, you're, you physically feel something going on in your stomach. You may have intrusive thoughts. All those kinds of things where you're just feeling out of alignment and you're not feeling good, all right? Mentally, emotionally, physically. You can use this in the middle of the night or during the course of the day. So in the middle of the night, I know, sorry, I got off my story here. In the middle of the night, the other night, I found myself with coming into another what I'll call episode, all right? And I kind of was, I walked through my, my breath work process that, you know, keeps me flowing through this so I can get through it over the course of about 15 minutes. But I don't want to have that, right? Anyway, long story short, I kind of went to sleep. I was half asleep. I woke up with this hand on my forehead. And this is early morning. These always usually happen about this time. And I was like, why is my hand on my forehead? And I thought, this, this, I don't ever sleep like this. Why is my hand on my forehead? And during this time, I was kind of like half awake, half asleep. And what was happening is I was having mind thoughts, intrusive thoughts, energies running through me, collective energy, you can only imagine, right? And as I ended up with my hand on my forehead, I kind of awoke from that half sleep realizing it's all gone. It's gone. It's all gone. Those thoughts. What was happening is per the idea of using this as our bringing in our divine source light. I didn't even know that practice until this happened. So the practice I just gave you came out of this. All of a sudden I'm realizing I just changed my frontal lobe. My team told me that. They said, no, you changed your frontal lobe. You changed your, your, the energy of your thought process. Basically, oh, they just said erase just now. I erased that. I erased those mind thoughts and I cleared that energy. So I was like, whoa. This all came through my hand. I thought, this is interesting. So I got up, and I started realizing over the course of the days, also working with a practitioner of mine, where this practice showed up. And then to add to the practice of putting my hand on my forehead, we got talking about how, and I said, I was told this is my frontal lobe that is being shifted and changed. And then what we realized is putting it on your on your um, occipital lobe in the back will provide even more clearing, okay? So what I am recommending to you is, we're gonna talk about two things here, is first of all, as you are potentially feeling these kinds of energies moving through you, whatever it is, however it defines itself for you, or you're just feeling off, or your mind isn't just feeling very clear, what you're going to want to do is do the hand gesture, bring that in, feel that, and then for yourself, you're going to do this. It even works with just one hand, at least it did for me. But you can do this, and again, what you're going to do is just let that heat or let that light move through. You don't have to do anything. But loosen up your body, breathe, just be able to let that energy flow. And you can even do it sitting up, you can do it lying down, you can do it in the middle of the night. It is super simple and it is absolutely incredibly powerful. And ever since then, I have not had one energetic episode. So what I do is I do this before bed. 
I allow that energy to just clear anything from my mind, all right? And you can also do this with your hand and your solar plexus, like I showed you earlier. So depending where you're feeling anything going on in your body or your mind, you can use this divine healing light, your source light, all right, coming through your hands to be able to move that energy through and transmute it and be able to, oh, they just said neutralize it. Yeah, because what's been happening with me is, okay, and moving it through. Because see, what I'm doing is these are, for, for me, and it, you can use this, obviously, it's, if it's your energy, you're not going to, you don't have to know. Just if you don't feel right, I'll just say, use this. Um, and then just allow that to sit there and to fill that. And you'll know intuitively when you're able to move your hands off. Use this regularly, you will be amazed. So what has happened with me, because I have had some very severe um, episodes since last July, off and on, kind of more on than off, I have learned how to manage collective clearing. That's not what this video is about. This is about my story in the collective clearing and how these practices help me. Because these are very um, strong, can be very intrusive energies, and these practices work on those very strong intrusive energies. So therefore, what I'm saying is you can see for like maybe lower based energy or, or uh, energies that aren't as um, intrusive or maybe just your own feeling, your own energies, they can be extremely helpful. I haven't had another episode. I have been able to manage these where it's like water rolling off the duck's back. I know I'm still collectively clearing, but the thing is the light's coming from the inside out and I'm also be able, being able to use that source energy coming through my palms to heal myself. We all can do this. Yes, I'm an energy healer. You may say that, but that, that doesn't matter. We all are, all right? So this is about a practice process, but a regular practice process. These combined together, I think, will possibly be some of your most powerful tools you will have, all right? Remember, we're going into these massively energetic times, or we're in them. We're swimming in the highest frequencies we've had on Earth probably ever. Needless to say, we're swimming in them now, and we need all the tools in our back pocket. I would say to you, these are two of the most profound practices that I have probably um, experienced in the entirety of my journey. And I would highly recommend, this is not a one and done. This is a kind of thing where if you resonate with this and you feel comfortable using it, that, and you can make it your own, obviously, then you're going to want to employ this daily, is what I would say to you. I would employ this daily. And again, you might not, I mean, I don't know if we're going to notice something right away. I did. I work in this field. I'm always in this energy. I'm, I'm very attuned to myself. We're all at different stages, right, of awareness of our own energy bodies. But what I would say to you is just keep going. Don't stop. That's the biggest problem that most people have is like, oh, well, nothing happened. You know, we're so used to, to you know, wanting to receive quick results or being taught that we should receive quick results. No, just let it flow. Let it flow. Keep doing this and keep, keep experimenting with yourself, okay, and how this works for you. You can use this in many different ways, but the energy is coming from your highest frequency available of your divine source, all right? through your hands, and now you're going to start using your hands to be able to bring that energy into you, as well as be able to send that energy out as the lighthouse to those you're going to encounter in your day, and then you're going to wrap that up at the end and close out your day with it again, if that makes sense. These are powerful practices. They take a few minutes in the morning, a few minutes at night, and or whenever you choose to use them. I hope these are useful to you. If you have any questions at all and you don't understand how to use these, please feel free to either reach out through my website, on my contact page, or just go ahead and comment down here and then everybody else can kind of see what my response is. I hope this has been helpful. I just decided to connect in today and this wasn't even a planned video. I actually had another idea for a video and I'm like, no, you guys need to know this because as you know with my videos, I don't share a lot of guided meditations, a lot of practices, those kinds of things at all. But these energy practices are probably the most powerful I've seen. So remember, what we're doing right now is we're anchoring in the light body, but we need to have practices to help ourselves do that, 
all right? And we're clearing out our chakras and allowing those energies to move out that don't serve us, but we're moving that divine light through. And now what we can do is as that pillar of light, we can use that light, and I love the visual of two pillars coming into my hands, right? My palms, and feeling that, and then being able to use that in advance of encountering people, and then at the end of the day after we've encountered people, right? And then what you're gonna do is as you need it, you're gonna fill yourself up, you're gonna heal yourself from your own anxieties or your own your own um, intrusive thoughts, your own um, stomach aches, whatever it might be. So if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to comment in the comment session or reach out to me. And again, this is just an added component to what we talked about earlier with the meditation. I will again provide that link below. Again, I hope this has helped you in some way. As I've said, you can make it your own as well. So. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Carolyn Zeiser. I'm a channel, I'm a distance energy healer, and I'm a spiritual awakening mentor. And I thank you so much for joining me today. Check out all my services on purplerainhealing.com where I can personalize all of what we're talking about today to assist you further in your awakening ascension and your life journey in any way that's needed for you. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video today and took something away from it. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.